one of the more delightful aspects of Oshkosh, and let's face it, there's a lot of delightful things competing for everybody's attention, was the selection and building of the One Week Wonder. What are the lessons that you, as the manufacturer of the aircraft, are taking out of One Week Wonder? For us, it was, you know, it was kind of a dream come true, this whole One Week Wonder project, because as a kit manufacturer, we, you know, for many years, we talk about how easier airplanes are to build and that anybody can do it, but this was really an opportunity to actually show it and to take it from start to finish in a week. And then the, the actual implementation worked out, it was a fantastic experience. Uh, again, we had, you know, 2,500 different people pull rivets on the airplane, and, you know, the goal was obviously to get the airplane done, but the reason we were doing it was to really get everybody involved with it. And that's where, you know, partnering with EAA on that was really a pleasure to work with because, again, their focus was on maximizing the exposure of the program and to get people that would never normally pull a rivet, you know, whether it was the FAA administrator to, you know, young kids. And it was really great to see international visitors that just had never conceptualized that, you know, you, hey, you can build an airplane. And so I think a lot of people came home from Air Venture with the Seed Planet that, hey, they can build themselves an airplane. And I think that's something that we'll be seeing for years to come, folks that pulled a rivet at Air Venture and watched the airplane come together. You know, again, it goes back to saying that, you know, building and flying an airplane is a fun activity. And I think we saw that at Air Venture, that everybody was having fun doing it. Building an airplane is not something we have to do. We do it because we want to, because we get some satisfaction out of it. And, you know, if you're having fun doing it, then you've reached your goal there. So if you're having fun building your airplane, you want to do more of it. If you're not having fun, you're going to find other activities to do. And again, the quality of the kits and the type of construction that our kits have become, it, it really lends itself well for, for having fun with it and really lends itself well for group projects. We're seeing more and more EA chapters wanting to get back into the core values of building an airplane. And again, it goes back to let's do something, let's have fun. And, and I think uh, a lot of these organizations, whether they're civic groups or flying clubs and so forth, we've been doing less and less over the years. And we've seen the results of that is that, you know, we lose membership and so forth. But the groups that are doing projects, that are having fun, they're the ones that are keeping people involved in aviation. So I think by doing projects like that, that people stay actively involved and, and want to do more of it. And I think because of that, we will be doing it again. We probably won't be doing the exactly same thing over and over again because the wonder part of it, I think, ceases to be there. But we'll have to see different ways, whether it's doing things with kids or other groups or different types of projects like that. And again, since Oshkosh, Air Venture, we've had quite a few folks, you know, whether they're flying clubs, school groups, and, and so forth, contact me uh, wanting to do the same type of projects that we've done at, uh, at Air Venture. Aero TV is brought to you by... There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.